up at the property to do a little work. And this is the one project that I got to do for sure is to cut this. Um, I'm going to show you a before and after how easy it is to get rid of this. I rolled it over with the ATV like twice over the last month to let it break up and decompose. I don't want to walk into the food plot here. Here's my crab apples. They're doing great. Looks like we might be here to get crab apples. I was wondering if the frost was going to hurt them. Let's see what the plot looks like. A lot of clover, rye. These are pear trees. I don't see no blossoms on them. Wow, this one looks great. I cut a lot of trees here on the south side of the plot to um, get more sunlight. That's the blind I shot the nine point out of last year. He came out of that opening right there and I shot him right there. He was heading over to this apple tree. Let's see, what do we got here? This is where I planted my clover mix last year. You can see it. There's a line about, about right that tree right there, the line. And I didn't want to, <clears throat> I want to establish the clover underneath the apple tree so that I don't have to fertilize as often into uh if i put persis persisca under here i have to fertilize it and i don't like putting a lot of nitrogen underneath the apple tree but the clover is coming in great yeah looks look at the apple tree it's just look at them all look at all the apples and this is yep gave it a good trimming in the spring but yeah it looks like it's gonna be another bumper crop I like to see that oh yeah it's loaded there's still bees on it I can see up there cool but look this here this is what I'm talking about right here when I trimmed I left this it's part of the apple tree and you, you can still see remnants of the scrape from last year. But you gotta, you gotta leave that stuff when you're trimming, when these tr older wild apple trees get the downward. Here's another one here. I left it. <laughs> you got apples. Look at them all. Let's see if I can get a close up. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Clover's doing great. There's crimson clover, a lot of the crimson clover in here. And I'll leave this alone. Yeah, happy with it. All right, but anyways, I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna get cutting and then I'll show you the after. Well, here we go. This is the after good enough I'm gonna come back next week to plant my screen and I'll disc in the rest the rest of it will get disc in but I see it's all broke up it breaks up pretty good there's some big pieces here but the disc will break it up I ran out of gas in the little tractor so this is all I use right here my little piece of crap 32 inch MTD I don't even put a battery in it all I do is jump it from my four-wheeler. Then this thing gets used once or twice a year. I got a, re a bigger, nicer one to cut the lawn at the cabin. But And I, I trailer it out here. And that's it. People talk about always asking, how do you get rid of the screen? It's really, it's just, you can do it with a 32-inch little riding lawnmower. So... There you go.